thing. Let's just get right into the next group. No, no hesitation. Please continue the awesome applause for everyone. Uh, the Colin Collective! That was intentional. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Colin Collective, and we're here to perform a fun, exciting format for you called the Event Day, which sounds exotic, and it is. Isn't that Brazilian? Event Day? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take your suggestion and you're going to see three scenes all taking place at or around a singular event. And then you're going to get to see all the happenstance and circumstance and joy and trauma and comedic dysfunction that brought all of that together in the first place. But we need your suggestion of an event. So excluding a holiday. That's taking place today particularly. <laughs> yes, excluding those, what's an event that you would attend? Halloween. <laughs> Can you pass the ball fair? Fair. Just there, You said state, state fair? fair? State fair, okay. State fair. State fair. State fair. State fair. State fair. State fair. Okay. We got five more orders, sir. <laughs> I'm really sick and tired of this candy corn machine. <laughs> we thought it would be just fun for people to watch it, but they actually want to eat it. I know, it's just like, I figured we'd just put the candy corn in and we just, we'd never have to get any out. they just come by and be like, oh, look at that, that's, that's fancy, it's candy corn being roasted. Yeah, I don't want to eat it, I just want to watch it. People are eating it. We're Where the hell are we going to buy candy corn in August? I have no idea. We're really fucked. <laughs> uh, so screwed. Look, we can find a solution. We survived the famine of 1995, the state fair. We can survive this. Look, the best thing I got is, look, my, my cousin Joe, He's he's got some York peppermint patties left over. I'm thinking that I don't know. York peppermint roasted candy corn. I, I got nothing here. I didn't think anybody would eat this. So I figure I choose something else that no one would eat. Maybe they won't eat it this time. There's a shoe rolling around in the machine. <laughs> we even try to make it taste bad. And these people, these people are loving it. They're eating it up. That's the third shoe I put in there. Somebody already bought the other ones. I'm, just... I'm taking you down, Casey. Titan contest is mine this year. Ha! Brian? You think you've got it what it takes to eat more pies than me? I do. I've been training. Today? Yeah, I see an awful lot of empty pie containers around you right now. That's right, because I've been training. Yeah, you should, you should definitely keep on training, Brian. I have like six or seven more of those. Oh, well, look at you go. This is just a warm up. Yeah. You definitely got what it takes to take me down. Why don't you have a turkey leg while you're at it? Turkey leg, what kind of crazy talk is that? They say that melanoma stuff gets in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you sleepy. <laughs> You're thinking it's <laughs> Melanoma's on the skin, Casey. <laughs> You're thinking a tryptophan. <laughs> I don't know, Brian, I've been eating the shoe. And honestly, it's really getting hard for me to remember things, right? You bought it from the candy corn stand again, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's why you're going to lose. You don't got the good taste in food. Jessica. Mish. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. I thought Jessica was behind me. I apologize. I miss her, too. Yeah, me, too. She was great. Mm. People are so disgusting. That's why I just hang out with the pigs. Oh. <laughs> They're so clean. It's like a four foot high pig, by the way. <laughs> you're gonna win. It's good. You're gonna, you're gonna win this year. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, Kelly, can I tell you something honest? Please. I don't really have any friends. No people, anyway. I, just Jessica. You don't see me as your friend? Do you? Wait, do you like me like that? I like you. You like, you like me like a friend? Even more than a pig friend. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, 
I've known you for 15 years and that's no one's ever told me they like me more than a pig friend. You haven't felt my love for you as a friend in 15 years? You would walk in and say hi and then walk out. That's how you have friends. <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, there's a hug this time. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that you tolerated me. I didn't know that there's... That's what you do with friends, too, sometimes. <laughs> Successful entrepreneur. <laughs> this is the worst idea you've ever had. I don't think you should do this at the county fair. Look, I just. No one wants to eat your shoes. <laughs> it's it's for the candy corn. It's no not. No one for likes the, candy corn. I know. Not even for Halloween. It's no. just look, we're just filling the booth space. I'm not actually planning on selling it. That's just dumb. What are you? Are you are you saying I'm dumb? Yes. <laughs> I just said I didn't want to sell the candy corn. That's why I got the shoes. You're just gonna rotate it in a big circle and hope people watch it. What is so complicated about this? Nothing's complicated about this. <laughs> Ah, yes, you look like a sort of discerning taste of man of high fashion and senses. Yes, I'm looking at you. I've seen you around the state farm, the local uh, high school events, uh, uh, various other community activities. <laughs> well, I, I guess I am in the community of it. Yes, you look like a man with a bright future. Let me show you something that could define that future. What do you know about candy corn, sir? I, I don't like it much. No one does! <laughs> Imagine a roll, a high roll in a, a community event where you seem to be contributing, but you don't actually have any real responsibility. I like that. Yes! Allow me to show you. We call it the candy corn churn. Ask me what it does. What's it do? It turns candy corn! Oh. Get the spies in all the state fairs around the country? I did. Selling candy corn? I know what we paid them to do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be legit. It is going to, our plans will come to fruition. And everyone will like candy corn after they've been addicted to it by being laced with crack. <laughs> <laughs> So I just turn it and I put this this other box of stuff in here like salt. Yeah, right? that's that's exactly exactly right, sir. That's the uh, that are, those are the essential vitamins and minerals. All right, too many people died on the first one. Yeah, so I put heroin in it. So I was. Uh, Casey, melatonin. I was confusing tryptophan with melatonin, the sleep drug. <laughs> I was really racking my brain about that, man. I'm glad we figured that out. Please let me win. So you're saying there's something wrong with my pancreas? Yes, your pa your panagea. Panagea. Your panagea is uh, <laughs> it's infected. My panagea is infected. Yeah, which is why I'm gonna have to give you a, a course of, of pentiums to, uh, to to clear that. It's a type of uh, it's a type of mold based medication uh, that you just you're looking at me like I'm speaking a foreign language. Mr. Gregg, as your professor here at med school, I just want to let you know. You're, you're going to have to learn the terminology a little better. <laughs> Everyone can put together what I'm talking about through context, all right? <laughs> Don't get your humongous bone in a bunch, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, right here, it's this. <laughs> Kelly. Uh, it, it's finally happened. I'm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> You're going to have a larva? <laughs> you 
know you're my best friend now, because I don't have any. I know. You named the pig after Jessica. Yeah. Well, she's gone. Yeah. We miss her. <laughs> I miss her so much. Yeah. <laughs> upset uh dinosaur I don't know <laughs> thought you were a doctor in your real time yeah I'm not a good one you uh actually kind of look like you're going through the uh, cute stages of uh god what is it it's that stuff you know like you're you're experiencing Withdrawal? some kind of kind of kind of on the opposite end you look like you're on a drug. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. The candy corn stand is closing. What? I can't. Uh -huh. I'm, I can't. I can't do it anymore. I've blown out my shoulder. We ran out of candy corn. We've just been feeding you guys shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just. Those I'm were the sorry. sweetest shoes I ever had. They're the best shoes. No one, no one could have known the success that would be of the candy corn roller. It's addictive. It's like crash. <laughs> <laughs> Crack! That's what you're on. That's the the pupils and the it's the whole thing. It's a. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm a beat behind everyone else here. <laughs> I'm on the crap. No. I'm going to test positive when they test us at the end of the, of the, of the contest. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do do drug tests for performance enhancing drugs, and crack cocaine is one of those. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Casey, this is all I got. I need you to help me win. I need your blood. <laughs> Brian, I'm, I am both touched and disturbed that you would come to me with this as a fellow competitor. But... In the interest of our continued friendship and that you're one of my only patients, I suppose I can hook you up with some blood. Not mine. I actually carry around several packs of uh, various town residents. Uh, we got Luke's over there. I got some of his blood. Oh. So you are the child's father. And you're also uh, 
We caught you for homicide, uh, uh, robbery. Shouldn't have gotten grazed. Uh, yeah, you got a whole rap sheet now. Beard, your blood has just been. We've been looking for you for a long time. This is gonna be a funny story. <laughs> but that ain't my blood. Okay. <laughs> It's the same blood on your test as it was that I gave you, but it don't belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, this, your blood, and you murder people. It's not my... And you, you have a kid. I don't think that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had a long-term relationship, and... Well, at least three Avengers movies. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't, you don't, don't worry about it. Just all you need are friends, okay? Just friends to fill the void of the relationship, and it's going to be fine. And there's an easy way to do that. How? You just get on Tinder. <laughs> Hi. Uh, upstanding citizen with uh, various uh, loneliness issues, but, uh, but someone with uh, a bright future. Maybe you wish to be the queen of your own domestic domain. Several several hundred thousands of adoring fans or publics or friends. People to share friends. time with. Friends. Friends, that one. Yes, that's, that one. that's yeah. the word I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know about livestock, madam? I have pigs. Exactly, pigs. You know what yesterday's pigs are? Or tomorrow's pigs? Bacon? Cows! <laughs> Nature's friend, that's what they call them. Woman's companion, the cow. Look at its big, wide, docile eyes. <laughs> you can just swim in them, can't you? Imagine. Late nights outside in the yard. No need to, uh, no need to mow the lawn, by the way. She'll take care of that for you. That I was your best friend. <coughs> you told me we stood there at the state fair in front of your pig and everything. Wow. You said I was your best friend. <laughs> Kelly, I love you. It's it's just oh Bessie. Wow. It's like he's on crack. She. <laughs> she, she looks like she's on crack. You said I was. Now I don't have any friends. <laughs> You seem like an upstanding lady. Uh, a deep desire to make social connections. You seem like an overcompensator. <laughs> well, I don't have friends. Uh, I'm hurt. The first step is for you to talk to each other, okay? All right, we're going to work through this issue. Candy corn, we're in your relationship. What's next? Like a York peppermint patty? <laughs> no, 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 not, not what, what's next that's going to ruin your relationship. Like, what's next that's going to fix it? This is what we're dealing with, right? Every time I say, like, maybe don't come up with a new thing to do at the fair. Maybe come home and see your wife once in a while. He hands me another candy item. It was supposed to be a mint olive branch. <laughs> that sounds disgusting! <laughs> what, I, fine, I'll... Do you want to go see a movie? Oh my god, yes! Did we just have a breakthrough? I want to spend time with you! I don't want those sesame seed chew things that are disgusting! I want you! I don't want another candy item. So no concessions. <laughs> That's right, I got parole. I don't I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know if you're trying to say that I've gone on a string of robberies and left blood samples around town with the intent of getting you implicated because that, that would be utterly ridiculous. You need to get a hold of yourself, Brian. 
That's exactly what I was going to say, but thank you for summarizing it for me so well. <laughs> is, is he the one, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's the one. He gave me that blood to submit for the test. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take him down. Uh, isn't that like a rule I follow? Oh, no, 